Hello all. Welcome to my channel. This is Suman and in this video we will discuss how to run Mocha test programmatically. In our last video we have seen how to run Mocha test from command line. Now in this video we will discuss about how to run Mocha test using a program. For this demo I have created this test folder. So this is my project Mocha demo and uh, in this mocha demo i have already installed uh, uh, mocha mocha module and for this demo i have created a test folder and uh, i have added five tests in that test folder so in test 1 we have a describe and an init so they are very basic uh, tests so we are we are just logging a console output similarly we have test 2 3 4 and five. Now, instead of running these tests from command line, right? I have created one file called run mocha test.js. I write some code in this particular mocha js, which actually executes these uh, mocha test files one after the other based on how we configure. Let's start writing our code. First, let's require mocha object const mocha equal to require mocha and then let me create a function async function run mocha now we will call this function in order to execute our mocha test now this is this is our structure now let's try adding some code here which triggers or executes our mocha test first thing is so outside this function let me first create a mocha object with mocha equal to new mocha of for now i'm passing an empty object and uh, here in this object right based on your requirement you can pass your reporter options and if there are any other additional options that you want to pass to the mocha object so you'll pass them in this particular object in my case i'm not passing anything here i'm leaving mocha to consider all the default options now let's start writing our code first thing i'll do is i'll use this mocha object mocha dot add file now i'll specify the file path so let's say i want to execute this test one for instance i'll say test slash double slash test one dot js now this particular file this file is now added to uh, the mocha object now in order to execute this file right what i have to do is i have to say mocha dot run now this will execute or trigger this mocha file now let's run and see node so this is just a javascript file right so we will use the command node run our uh, javascript file mocha test dot js so now this has executed our test so it says test suit one and then in that test function one which is passed and we have logged this controller but test one complete okay done now let's go ahead and modify a few more things now we are just running this mocha function but we can change this function to add few listeners and uh, based on the test output right or test result these listeners will be executed let me show them one on one one by one so dot on you'll change this with dot on and say if test is pass now i'll create a callback function async function test 
uh, here I don't do anything. I'll just log console output saying the test passed. And then we need to get the name of the test, right? In order to do that, we'll say test.title. Now, if you want to get the full title, you can say test.full title. What is the difference between these two things? The title attribute, right? It will just give us the test name. Here in my case, it is test function one. Now, full title method, right? It gives the described name followed by the eighth name. So it will combine both these two things and then it will show me. Let me run this and show you. So I will use the same mocha command. I'll click enter. Now, if you look at this, right? So there are a few additional lines that are printed in my console. First thing is the test pass, test function one. So this line. And then test pass, test suit one, followed by test function one, which is this line. So test out full title. Now, similarly, I can log on for on failure. On fail, I can say failed. And I can use this. Now, let me fail this particular test by throwing an exception throw error test failure now let me run my command now here see after executing this particular suit and this particular test right so this particular log didn't come because there was an error that is thrown and this particular statement never got a chance to execute and then in my mocha run mocha test file right i have configured this particular part which is on a test failure right execute this asynchronous or callback function and uh, this function has two statements it will say test file the test name and test fail the full test title so which it has printed both you can see one more thing here so it didn't execute the on pass callback function it has only executed on fail callback function only now similar to this we can add one more thing called dot on and uh, we can say end comma we can pass a sync function and this doesn't take any value this particular callback function because this particular listener right so this uh, will be executed when the entire execution or all mocha files that we are executing as part of this mocha object are executed then at at last right this will be executed now let me copy this and then say the text execution is complete So I don't have a test object here, so you can delete this. Let me run the command again. So it has executed my mocha test file, and then at the end right, it said test execution is complete. Now, now in this case, we are only executing only one test file. Now in real time scenario, you, we may have multiple uh, test folders and each test folder may contain subfolders just like this. Here in this subfolder, subtest folder, right? Now we have two test files, test six and test seven. Now, if you want to execute all these test files, right? What should we do? Now let's write some more code to get all those file names, file names and path to that file names too. So for that, I'll require one more a module called file system fs let me change a correct spelling mistake let me create a function i think function get files and then this file get files right takes two 
arguments one is file path and the other one is uh, file names so initially it will be an empty or undefined object but uh, eventually it will we will call this uh, get files multiple times to get uh, files in the subdirectories as well uh, that's when this uh, second argument will be useful uh, let, let's uh, understand it uh, in a minute now let me say file names equal to file names if uh, this is an uh, defined object or it contains some value if not it is an empty array and the next statement is let file equal to fs dot read file sync now it takes an argument called uh, it takes string as an argument which is a path to the directory in which we want to get all file details now it returns everything in this particular directory the files uh, the subfolder names and all now we will reiterate through all these file objects for that we'll say var let i in files let name equal to dir plus slash plus files of i now this will queue as the uh, file or the directory path now in the next statement right we will verify whether the file name that we got here is the name that we got here is a file or directory how to do it we will call one method in file systems fs dot stat sync and then we will pass this name and then we will check if this is a directory we'll call this method if this is a directory now what we will do is we will call this get files method again and then we will pass this name because this will be our new directory path and then we'll pass this file names object to now if it is not in a directory then we'll just push this particular name to our file names array push name now once this loop is done we'll return the file names that's it are very simple and straightforward only thing that you need to understand is this recursive call to the get files uh, function again i think that's it i think we are get files function is now ready we can call this get files function in our run mocha um, let's say let file names equal to await get files of directory so in my case the directory name is test so in this test i'm uh, i have all my tests now on this file names object file names dot for each i literate to each and every file name and call like callback function test file name and in this particular function i'll add the mocha file so the argument here will be changed to this yep now our code is ready so what have we done we have created the get files function which will get all the uh, file names or path to these file names and then we are adding those uh, file names to our mocha object now the other part still remains same now when i run this particular file right instead of uh, running one file the mocha dot run executes all the files that were added 
uh, to this mock object in serial mode one after the other let's go and run this let me clear my console and run this again we got an error uh, okay so operation on directory okay so here we called the uh, read file sync so instead of doing that we need to call read directory sync so that's a mistake that we have made so i've corrected it now uh, let's run and check our code again yep now everything is running fine let me scroll it to the top so my test suit 6 is executed and test to 7 uh, is also executed even though they are in a sub sub directory and then at the end right so my test execution complete is also executed for the failure failure test it is printing test fail log for the pass test it is printing test pass log now irrespective of our test failed or passed if we need to log something right we can add one more listener here saying on test end will take a callback function and this value is passed now i can say execution for for test plus test dot title is complete so no matter uh, if this test passed or failed so this statement will be executed let's see if the test is passed first this statement will be executed followed by this if test is failed first this statement will be executed followed by this so you can uh, add this listener even before pass or fail but still the order in which uh, they are, they are executed will still remain same so first the pass or fail statement will be executed followed by test end let me run and show you now so after my six test is executed right? it says execution for test test function six is complete and even for seven it is there even for test one where the test failed so it is still logging this message so this is the use of test end so these are the four common used listeners and this is how you execute test programmatically in mocha that's it for this video hope this video is informative please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel